Hey there. So I know it looks like I'm always in my dressing gown and my fluffy. This is my rabbit. It's my rabbit comfy top, my comfy jumper, my house clothes. Um, and I don't care because this this is what I live in when I'm in my house. So um, my name is Olushe Kaladi. And I am the creator, creative producer, creative everything of the Superstar Self-Love Project. I am interviewing 100 people about their self-love journey and then making the interviews into a podcast series. I'm also going to be eventually down the line when I've interviewed all 100 people, uh, writing a book about the journey and the findings that I've come across, like heard in the in the interviews and kind of compiling all the data that I have gathered. Uh, so it's going to be pretty big, pretty epic, pretty intense, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. I'm keeping these video diaries anytime I do something uh, project related, pretty much. And I do things like pretty much every day, like working on the website and things like that, but sometimes I don't really keep a diary of every single thing that I do. Like I send emails, I connect with people that I am interviewing, I follow up the interviews that I've already done, just checking in with the people that I've connect that I've interviewed. I um you know, I'm really creating these amazing friendships with these beautiful people who um are sharing their stories, their self love journeys with me and with you with the world. So this project's really um, it's just lighting me up. I'm really exhausted. I've had a really long day. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty much ready for bed. Uh, my self-love practice for this evening is going to be um, having a bath with some um, lavender oil essence and some um, Himalayan pink salt in it. And then I'm going to read a little bit of my book and go to bed because um, I'm exhausted and I've got a pretty busy week ahead so and it's Wednesday and it's been a pretty it's been a busy week and and I've got a busy week ahead so and that's life like that is what I love and um, what I love about my self-love journey is that I can uh, take these moments out when I take care of myself and do something loving for myself instead of I don't watch TV, but I have like, you know, internet, so I could, I do watch programs online. And sometime, like recently, that's been taking over a little bit. So I've put a few boundaries in place where I'm not watching so much, so many programs online. I'm, I'm actually going off and having a bath instead of doing that. Or I'm, um, instead of doing my evening writing uh, while I've got a program on in the background for company. I'm turning off and putting on some nature music and then doing my my bedtime writing. So all these little small changes that I can make uh, kind of bring me back to myself and make me feel more grounded and calmer. And and it's okay when I go off and divert and 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 do things that aren't necessarily the more loving things. Like I've been overeating a little bit and I'm kind of making my portions smaller and I, um, I've cut, completely cut dairy out of my diet again and so yeah so it's just this um, wonderful it's just a cycle like oh, the whole of life is a cycle and it's always this opportunity when I'm not doing so well or you know to not judge myself and to forgive myself and to be gentle with myself and, and that's my self-love practice and to connect with that part of me that 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 knows that it's all okay and that it's all just part of the learning and the growth growth cycle and that we're never ever getting this gonna do this perfectly so um yeah i've had amazing day really wonderful um, meeting with somebody about something unrelated to as well technically unrelated to the self-love project but who knows what's going to happen within the in the future um and yeah and i've just interviewed a friend of mine who is a really wonderful guy and i really have got a lot of time for him um he's actually chosen to do it anonymously another another anonymous 
interview which is really wonderful um and so it's gonna and the insight like the just he's got such a beautiful energy and lovely nature and a lot of what he said really touched me um particularly something that he said i one of the questions i ask is what would you say to um to the old self to yourself before like what how would you support your yourself before you um, embarked on this journey like what would you say to encourage that yourself when you were in a point of your life when you were um, lacking self-love and he he said that he would say to his little to um you know to himself as a little boy like you're beautiful and that really kind of like you know just I welled up and I'm even welling up right now just just um just repeating what he said like just so touching and and where he's from like it's a very macho culture and environment where it's not okay for men to be vulnerable it's not okay for them to it's okay for them to have this machismo ego and to praise themselves and big themselves up in a very uber masculine way but it's not like where do the more sensitive um young you know boys and girls but you know in this case where did the more sensitive little boys go for a model of of that being something stronger vulnerability being a strength as well and um yeah and he kind of shared how that kind of rejecting the part of himself that is vulnerable that is soft and gentle and sweet has been a real hindrance to his self-love journey and um, you know, and this is why I'm doing this project and I'm including men and I'm including people from different cultures and different backgrounds because it's important for us to, like, everybody, you know, has all these different experiences and we all think that we're going through these things and nobody else knows how we're feeling and nobody else has gone through these experiences when actually we, we have and, um, and kind of like and then how do we come through them and another wonderful thing actually as an outcome of this interview was that he asked me before we started doing the recording he asked me a question about something I can't quite put word into words now because I need to process it a little bit but actually as an outcome of that I'm going to add in a question um to the interview so and that's been just really wonderful as well. Like this, this project is evolving. Nothing set in stone, and I know that I'm just a uh, conduit for whatever is meant to happen and how it's meant to evolve. And um, I really give thanks every day for this project and and for um, yeah that I've been chosen to do it. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I am outy because i'm desired so um love you and if you want to know more i'll put loads of links in the description below come and check out my facebook group and get involved and hopefully we'll get some conversations going and yeah just uh if you want to be interviewed for the project as well put a link to my personal facebook and you can direct message me that way okay